Hello everyone, it's Red with RedDragonLeo.com and today is Sunday, uh, December 5th, 2010. This is the weekend update and we are looking at the monthly chart. And I'm going to go over the charts here, but um, to be honest, <laughs> they uh, are pretty heavily manipulated, as you know, and um, they're pretty much worthless. But we'll go over them anyway, because I don't think that they can manipulate the longer term as much as they can the short term moves. Uh, but, you know, we just got to go over it. I think these, the, the monthly is going to play out as expected. Um, I think we will continue up here on the monthly, even though this this here is uh, way up here. It's only been a, a, what, a couple days. Um, so, so I expect that to fall back down for the months out. And uh, whether or not it puts in a big long sale bar like this is unknown. But I do think that we're going to be fooled. Everyone's going to be fooled with December normally being a bullish month. I think they're going to sell it off a little. I don't know how deep, but I do think they're going to sell it off some before this month is out over. Uh, I think this uh, topping tail here is uh, a clear indication that uh, that this market is getting ready to sell off a month. You look at this candle here. This is a clear topping tail plus a pierce of this red 50-day moving average. This is kind of giving you the hints towards the whole month of December. Now look here at this topping tail and the very next month after it. Now let's go and look at other topping tails to see how they uh, to see how they look to compare them. You can see this is a big long candle and it did close red uh, negative but with it you know it's got a small body down there. So regardless of um, whether it's red or white meaning it's positive or negative what we're looking for is the long topping tail. Okay remember we're only two days three days into this uh, month so this doesn't mean nothing this can all change. So if we go back here and look at this topping tail, and it actually it's got a pretty decent body in it, but it did sell off the month after. Uh, you look at this one, and it did sell off the month after. Uh, this one here is an exception. This one here did put in kind of a topping tail, and it did go higher the month after. Um, looking here, well, you can see that's you can't really say it's a topping tail because this whole move is a down move, so none of this really counts. We're looking for moves that are going up. Okay, so here's a move going up. You put in a topping tail, the next move it sold down. And this is a sideways pattern like a bear flag. It did go up, put in a topping tail, then go down again. Um, looking here as we are topping, there's no topping tail here. This one kind of, but it's really got too much of a body right there from what I'm really looking. I'm looking for a smaller body. And uh, so that one really doesn't quite qualify. And as we scroll on back down through here, and this portion we won't look at because it's a, it's a sell-off. Well, here's one. Here's an example. Uh, this was a move back up from a move down. It put in a topping tail, then it did continue to sell down. Here's, here's a candle pattern similar to what we have now. A nice topping tail and a huge move down after that. I don't expect that in December. But I do expect uh, December to sell off some um, and probably close down. I don't think there's going to be the big Santa rally that everybody expects. I mean, they've done everything the opposite of what we've expected the entire time. Uh, anyway, it just kind of gives you an, an idea that um, odds favor this you know month uh, going down, at least closing below this top where it's at right now. And closing below. Now, whether it ends up being negative or just barely putting out a candle there, I don't know. But uh, even with the light volume, everything that has happened in the last year has done the opposite of what we thought it would do. We thought October would be uh, a horrible month because historically it is. And we had one of the best Octobers on file in many, many, many years. Um, we thought that, uh, you know, November would be positive. And it was actually a down month. Okay. September. I mean, look at this. Here we are, December. Here's November, a down month. First to be positive. 
Here's October, a big up month. It's supposed to be negative. Here's September. Lots of times that's negative, uh, and that's an up month. So, you know, right here in August, when we had this down month, everybody was expecting it to, to break down, myself too, because the market was rolling over. But, you know, they jammed it and uh, ran it up higher. So, we should expect this market to, you know, continue up like this uh, and finally roll over. So, I don't know how high it's going to go when it crosses up over the zero line and uh, before, it, before it starts to roll back over. I don't know if it's going to go as high here on the MACD as it did up here at, uh, in the 50 area. I, I don't think so. I think they're going to run out of time. I really do. I think January, February are bearish, and I think the reports that come in from retail sales somewhere between January and March, I think the crap's going to hit the fan. And this mark is going to roll over because we're too dark going close to that upside fake print on the Dow. I think that's the top, folks. I really do. I, I think 11,800 range, that, that, I think that's it. And uh, so that doesn't leave this very much room to go up here. You know, I think it's just going to barely break above zero and then start to roll back down. Um, and same thing here. I think this is going to slowly work its way down. And then, then once it goes below zero, uh, it's going to be a horrible year as primary wave three um, goes down so you know some people think that we're going to go up here to 1300 1350 if this was an a move a b and a c then c equals a but i'm throwing elliot wave out there because it's always after the fact you know we'll come up with some other wave count uh afterwards if it rolls over so it'll be a, a flat or a sideway i don't know whatever they call it. Uh, it's good for after the fact, but the, the charts t tell me, and the fake prints tell me that uh, that 11,800 is the top. Moving on the weekly chart, I think this was just clear 100% manipulation. Just, just flat up manipulation in the market. Uh, I think we're going to roll over next week, and I think it's going to be a down week before it's over with. Um, I don't think we're going to bust out of this top just yet. Don't see it. I don't see it happening just yet. Um, daily, yeah, they're up here. They're hitting the double top. So you got to ask yourself, you know as well as I do the game. Either they run right up to a double top, allow, allow all the bears to jump on board short for an exact double top. It's, they're just about three points away, I think. At the entry day or something like that. So if it hits an exact double top, everybody will get on board and short it. And all the bears will make money. All the small guys will make money. Now, do you really think that's going to happen? No. So one of two things is going to happen. Either they're going to gap this sucker higher, run on up for that 11,800 11, print on the Dow. And if you gap it up here and take out these uh, overhead stops, you're going to create a short squeeze and it will run. Uh, or... You just turn tail and start heading back down on Monday, right off the bat, head down, and don't allow these bears to get short. They either got short Friday, or that's it. They didn't. So that would fake out a lot of people if we went down, uh, retested this 1,200 minimum. If uh, that doesn't hold, then you know we could continue on down and retest the 1173 area. And if that doesn't hold, we're going on down to the 11, uh, 1150, then 1130. If it pierces 1130, we're not going back up. But I don't think that's the case. I think it's going to hit one of those numbers and then turn and go back up into January and into the end of January uh, and then put in that final top. So, you know, somewhere between a minimum of 1200 and uh, on the low side, to all the way down to 11:30 area, right in, right in here, it's what I'm expecting to uh, happen, and then I'll move back up in January. So, you know, where they're going to do it, I don't know. It's light volume; they have they have lots of control over it. That's why it's the ideal time to sell it off. Uh, roll this thing back down now, when you can control the market, and 
you know, then then run it back up in January. Don't let it sell off very far. You know, you get to control it when it's very light volume. And, and so that's what the gangsters, I think, have planned. I think we're going to end up going down on Monday, even though this looks like it's wanting to curl back up. I don't, I don't believe it. I think it's going to roll over. You know, of course, I've been wrong so many times I can't even count them. As they as they trick me all the time, you know, it, when the charts, the charts look bullish right now. Okay, they look bullish. They do. So that's why I'm going bearish <laughs> because they look bullish. If that makes sense. Uh, this looks like it's ready to keep running up. Uh, it, it doesn't look like it's rolling over. This looks like it's dipping down small and, and curling back up. Uh, this clearly has the ADX line way up and the positive. Uh, line is with the ADX line. The positive DI line is there showing it's it's up in strength. It's up in the 70s. Everything shows positive. Sure, that was overbought, and maybe it dips and recycles back up a little bit, but it, it you know, it's basically, here it looks like it's recycling back up. So, yeah, the charge 60 minutes look bullish. 30 minutes oversold, ready to hook back up. Right, they're ready to go up. That looks bullish. That's why I'm bearish, because the charts are you know, being so heavily manipulated. I think they're going to they're gonna trick a lot of bulls here. I think they're going to take her down a little bit. How far, I don't know. But I, I do think they're going to take it down. Um, I, there's some other things I wanted to cover. The, the fake print that is still bugging me is this one here on the wheel chart. It still bugs me. It's the only print I have, again, that this candle that you're seeing right here, this big, long candle, is showing up around, if I scroll down, it looks like December 7th. Could be December 6th, 5th, 7th, somewhere around that area. That's what's showing up. You scroll over here to the date that it was taken, the last candle. This is approximately March the 5th uh, of 2005. Scroll down, March 8th. Okay, so March the 5th to the 8th, somewhere in that range is that candle. I don't know which one it is. This is the only fake print that I have that the candle showed up three months prior on the date that it was taken. This candle should have shown up right here on this date, March. Okay? Look at all the other prints so that you understand clearly what I'm talking about. Look at this print. Where did that show up? The date it was taken. Okay, where'd this one show up? The date it was taken, not three months prior. Where'd this one show up? The date it was taken. Where'd this one show up? The date it was taken. I think you're getting the point here. Here's the VIX, 349, the date it was taken. Here again, uh, the Russell, the date it was taken. Uh, hopefully you're getting my point. All these fake prints, every one, Goldman, the date it was taken. If you looked a day or two afterwards, the print was gone. So do you really think that if this was taken on December the 6th or 7th, you wouldn't have seen all these candles here because they wouldn't have existed there yet unless you look into the future and just put them on there. It didn't happen, bottom line. So you take it on this date, um, it's been three months. This print should have clearly been gone. But so was the print there uh, a few days afterwards? No, the print didn't show up until th this was taken. That's my point. Um, and it, it, so it was the print shows up backdated three months, showing up somewhere on March 5th or 8th, somewhere in that range. That's really strange to me. Now, someone emailed me this showing Faz as uh, a fake print on FAZ, the, the bear share of 20, uh, 25, bear share for the financials, three times bear share, 25.95. It was trading at $12. Now, that don't seem like a big fake print, but that's a huge, huge move on the uh, uh, three times directional share. That's a, that's a crash, okay? Uh, we still have this one uh, showing 8.85 on the ES. Something's weird, folks. The train, maybe I was looking at the wrong train. Maybe the train 1206 means December the 6th. Maybe something happens here over the weekend. Today's Sunday, nothing's happened so far. But maybe there's, maybe it's just the start of a move down. Uh, I don't know. But something strange. It's just something to be aware of. Regardless, I don't think we're going up to new highs until we first 
back down off of this double top first for at least a few days to a week or two. Okay. All right, I'm running out of time. That's that's all I got to say. So uh, the rest of it's in the blog. Thanks, guys. Good luck.